Hello everyone, I uh, just wanted to kind of go over what my plans are for February for streaming. Um, so right now, you know, we got our typical Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, you know, World of Warcraft, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, D&D. That is not going to change, you know, unless things get cancelled, like sometimes they do. Like last week, Saturday, uh, WoW Raid. Um, Monday and Tuesday, I plan on streaming Pal World. I might do it on Wednesday the 7th also. Uh, but coming Thursday the 8th, for sure, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from streaming on the non-mandatory days. So I'll still be doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the rest of the week, I'll probably take a break for a bit. I'm going to focus on doing the uh, Season of Discovery Phase 2 for World of Warcraft Classic. Because um, I don't have a whole lot of time to do that until the release of Last Epoch on February 21st. So once February 21st hits, I'm going to go ahead and go back to mainlining um, streams towards Last Epoch outside of, again, my still mandatory Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, also during those times, I'll probably try to stream before Raid. Um, and then after D and D, just to you know, keep doing Last Epoch. Um, and also during that time on release, there are going to be a lot of little things going on. There's going to be Twitch drops every day, which I should have access to. I put in my application for it, and I'm waiting for the confirmation on that one. Um, but I should have Twitch drops going. Um, you know, so that'll be fun. You know, full release of the game. It's going to be exciting. There's so much new stuff happening, like all the uh, new masteries and stuff like that, which I'm probably not going to toy with right now. Um, I'm going to finish up my character um, that I've been working on, at least get him to level 100, bare minimum. Uh, so I'm going to be staying on the standard um, season, essentially, or standard realm, and play that. Because they're, they will be doing seasons in Last Epoch, but right now uh, the first season essentially is just the trading system, and um, that's going to be applied to both season and non-season. So for me right now, there's no real point in just giving up all the characters I've already made. And, you know, because there's no real extra for being on season. The other thing that's going to be um, for the season that is different than the normal realm is that the ladder will reset. So those people who push the endless arena, you know, the that will be available to push ranks. But I'm not one of those people. Um, so I just don't feel the need to. So I'll be on my normal characters. I might make a couple new characters. Um, just kind of depending on some of the tweaks and updates and stuff like that. So I may end up making something like I do still want to make a lich. Um, we're going to see what the play style is of that. Uh, I'll probably look at that on my own time. I do want to make another druid, you know, stuff like that. So we'll have to see. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be the kind of the plan going forward. Um, also if you are interested in, uh, playing Last Epoch, they are teamed up with Nexus, um, and they're teaming up with a lot of their content creators and stuff like that, uh, and their content creator program, and allowing us to have our own creator codes uh, for Nexus.gg slash Savis, um, where if you want to buy Last Epoch, or if you want to buy any of the um, supporter packs, something like that, you can buy them through nexus.gg slash Xavus, X-E-V-A-U-S. And I will end up getting a portion of that sales. So if you want to help support me as a creator, that would be very, very helpful. And as far as I know, you get like a Steam key for it. So nothing changes on your end. Um, and um, the prices are still the same. Uh, not too sure about international, but at least the U.S. prices are still the same. So, 
But yeah, uh, so that's going to be the plan, guys. I hope to see you guys out in the stream. So take care and have a good day.